Hi everyone, it's me, Shantae Sunny Jordan. What a beautiful day. Thank you for joining me on day 13, not necessarily day 13, video 13 to, today. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my story. You know, it's one of those things that a lot of people don't like to share their stories because either they feel that they have too much dirt, too much baggage, and they just want to forget about it, or they simply don't want to address their story. And on Yesterday, which was Sunday, I had the opportunity to attend church, and at church we had this guest speaker, um, Dennis Nunn. He came to Nation Four Community Church, and he spoke, and he spoke in regards to witnessing. And I started thinking about how I oftentimes tell people my story of how I got over sixty thousand dollars in scholarships and how I have networked my way to success and how I have developed a business while maintaining a family. All of those great stories I've shared with people, but I failed to share one of the greatest stories. The story that really is the secret behind all of my success, and it should not be a secret. It should definitely be the forefront of my business. So therefore, we were to write a, a commitment to God and witness to people. Can you believe that 95% of Christians don't even witness, don't even share their testimony, don't even share the story of Jesus Christ. And so for that reason, I'm not going around to be a um, religious icon and I'm going to be stopping everybody saying you better be saved. My thing that I'm going to do today is just simply share my story with you. I'm going to read it verbatim because I don't want to get off track. And I also just simply want to share who has been in my life and how I have gotten to the point I am today. So the gentleman gave us three questions and it goes a little like this. The first question was my life before I met Jesus. I grew up in church and I was a part of a ch the children's choir. I'm sorry. One mistake. Here we go. My life before I met Jesus. I grew up in Rock Hill, South Carolina. I was raised by a single parent mother. I attended college and received my bachelor's degree from Winston-Salem State University, where I received my bachelor's in science and my MBA. I miss my father in the biggest portion of my life in my younger years when I was growing up. He was very distant to me and he simply didn't, he, he didn't ha invest a lot of time in me and he was into a lot of material living. Therefore, I didn't know what it was to be loved by a man, but the greatest love that I received though was from my great-grandfather. My great-grandfather replaced my father figure. All I wanted was my papa. He would do anything for me. He was everything that I needed. I grew up in church. I was a part of the children's choir, the youth choir, the Buds of Promise, the Zionites, if you remember that, you're familiar with that if you're a part of the Amy Zion Church. I participated in Sunday school. I was in every Easter program, Christmas program. I was an usher. I, I really disliked doing that. I lost my virginity at the age of 18, but before then, you can catch me kiss, kissing my little church um, crush near the cemetery. To be honest, I wasn't really worried about breaking my virginity and going to hell as I was worried more about being judged by the people that attended my church that I would no longer have the title, the cute little girl, that I would become fast. So now the second question is, how can I accept Jesus in my, how did I come to accept, accept Jesus in my life? I accepted Jesus early in my life, like I said before. I went to the altar. I remember it. I was in front of a whole bunch of people that had known me forever. I remember crying and all that kind of stuff. And I confessed that Jesus was my Savior and that he died on the cross for my sins. That, But he also raised again, um, according to the scripture. And as a teen, I found myself constantly repenting and going back to the altar and giving myself to Christ again and recommitting especially every every revival. I didn't know if I was trying to convince God or convince myself that I really love Jesus, but that's what I was experiencing. I believe in every aspect of my life, I have had to accept that Jesus, Jesus' word would keep me. Throughout life experiences, I discovered different aspects of him. Because of this acceptance, I know now that he's the only way, and I always depend on him. Here's the third question. What is, was your life or my life since Jesus Christ? Early in my life, like I said, I went to church, but I've always had that question. Where did I belong? Where did I fit in? What is my purpose? Why did God create me? 
by having Jesus in my life, I have experienced so many blessings in my personal life, in my family. I have been able to gain confidence and wisdom from him. He has kept me out of danger by just being um, coherent to him and being able to receive his word. I love to hear Jesus speak to my heart and direct my path. And I love the convictions because it makes me become a better person. I am no longer lost. I know that I have a guide, that Jesus is my guide, and that if I try to move without him, it won't work. I am at peace in my life. I have freedom, and I owe no man nothing. I am more loving, more forgiving, and I don't live in complete worry. I, I really let go. And although I still have some anxieties at times and fears, I know that I have a friend in Jesus and that I can call him and that I can completely trust him and his word. Thank you for allowing me to share my story with you. You know, it's some, it, like I said, it's sometimes it's very difficult to put it out there and, and not be, not hide behind who you truly are. But like I said, I'm living bold this year. I'm doing things different. I'm not being insane. I'm not doing the same thing over and over again to get the same results. God, Son, Jesus Christ has been the director of my path, my world, and he's directing everything that is going to happen to me in 2013 and beyond. I wanted to share that story with you. I thank you for your time. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, the Sunny Jordan. You can also check me out on Facebook, Sunny Jordan, as well as visit my website and check out previous blogs at www.sunnyjordan.com. I love to hear from you and thank you once again.